All right, welcome to the CryptoTrader.tax demo video. We're going to start just by signing into the application here, and you're going to see that we're going to land here right on the home page of the app. It's a quick five-step process to create your tax reports for your cryptocurrency trading, income, and other crypto activity. And we're just going to quick run through the process and show you how it kind of breaks down. So as you can see, you're going to start out by selecting the exchanges that you have traded on. Now it's important that you upload your information from all of your um, exchanges that you have traded on. The application needs everything. You can't just do one exchange, right? The whole point of this is to aggregate all of your data um, onto the same platform. We're going to use the United States dollar for the currency. And sure, we'll put Chicago as I am in central time, okay? As you can see, it's kind of the first step, easy process, and hit save and continue right here. So bring us into step two of the app, right? This is where you're going to actually import your trade history so that the application can peg all of those trades to the US dollar value at the time of the trade down to the minute, right? So this is so that it can calculate the fair market value of your trades. So let's go here, click into Coinbase. Um, and you can see, import your traders from this net. We need trades from all previous years and from all of your exchanges. Again, both of these are very important so that you get accurate tax reports. This gets into getting accurate cost basis information, which is a topic for another video. As you can see, for Coinbase, there's two options to get your trade history in, right? You can either go with a CSV upload or you can just connect your Coinbase account through a read-only access API um, and automatically get them in. For each exchange, we detail the process in a walkthrough of how to get those trades in um, just to make it as easy as possible so you can just follow along with those guides no matter which route you're taking. So let's say I connect my Coinbase account I've already done this, so it might already have it. But you're going to see it's just going to redirect us into the Coinbase <clears throat> API authorization. We're going to sign in to my Coinbase account. It might make me do this. Okay. Um, well, there's the verification. Quickly go through this. Authorize. Yes. All right. So that is... As easy it is for the automatic, then you're just going to import your trades. Yes, it will delete those CSVs if they're in there, right? You can, you only want to go one or the other, right? API or into <clears throat> the CSV option. Here we go. Great, successful. So it's easy as that. It's quick. My trades are in from Coinbase API. Same with Binance. You can go the same route, right? You can generate your Binance API key, pull all those trades in automatically. Binance takes a bit longer, a couple minutes to get in. Or, again, you can just use our guide to get your Binance CSVs in and it walks through how to capture that trading history. So you're going to follow this process for every single exchange that you traded on, get those trades in within step two. And then once they're all in, right, from each every year of trading from all exchanges, you can carry on to the next step, step three. All right. So here we have add transactions, incoming and outgoing transactions. A lot of people um, might be wondering what this part is. It's helpful to read this, right? These are for essentially anytime you are, um, let's say, earning crypto via income, mining income, or maybe you paid someone in crypto, that would be an outgoing transaction. What it's not for is adding withdrawal, withdrawals and exchange deposits. So be careful with that. This step won't apply to a lot of people, um, so you might just be able to go to step four. Just read these instructions. Step four, you can see, is just to review the trades, right? You're going to use this step to review your trades that the application pulled in, make sure everything looks legit, okay? As you can see, I've just pulled in my Coinbase from here. It's going to detail the buys, right, ETH, USD, trading pair, and it's going to show, break down exactly, you know, what was traded for what on what date. Now the one caveat, if you have not pulled in all of your information or something's up, you might have a flagged trade, you know, come up as a red square here, and you can filter out those warning trades and reconcile those before running your report. 
Now, the final step to creating your report for the tax season for all your cryptocurrency transactions, right, is just running the report. So as you can see, I have transactions from both 2018 and 2017 from that Coinbase file that I imported. So I um, am going to run each of these reports. So here we go, start this report, boom, complete. Your 2018 report is complete, your 2017 is complete. Let's go ahead and view that report. As you can see, <clears throat> it's not gonna be much because I didn't import um, a whole bunch of trades, but here we go, I have the $160 loss in US dollar value. You can see my short-term gains report. It'll break down my long-term gains report right here. Um, it'll show my end of the year positions, right? What I still have open and what the cost base is in these assets. It'll also detail a complete audit trail showing exactly how every single taxable transaction was calculated. So, you know, you can keep this for your records, you can give it to your accountant. And then finally, you can navigate to the downloads tab right over here to pull your reports that you need, right? Maybe you're importing into TurboTax Online to completely file for your taxes. You're going to use the TurboTax Online download. As you can see, it just downloaded um, that CSV that will import right into TurboTax. You can also see that we export your complete 8949, which you can give to your accountant or use to file yourselves. And then obviously we have all the other reports that are needed for reporting your crypto transactions. And that's really the whole app, right? It's quick. It makes this really time consuming process a lot faster. Um, and we really hope it can help you file your crypto trades. Let us know if you have any questions below and there'll be some more assets linked in this video description. Have a good one.